who's the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Lord, we repent for serving the voice of our flesh. We repent for yielding to the multifaceted voices in our soul that have come to try to reason and ration and justify and live by sight, which is not pleasing to you. We thank you for practical wisdom. But now we thank you for the wisdom that comes down from God. The wisdom that says, bless those that curse you. Pray for those who despitefully use you. Turn the other cheek. The wisdom of Jesus in the Beatitudes, chapters 5, 6, and 7. Infallible truths that work. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Lord, we love your word. We love your people. Even when they're unlovable like we've been unlovable at times. And we ask you to forgive us for being judgmental in our souls to those that are in need of a Savior. We might be the only Bible they'll ever read, but we repent for not being a pure translation at times. We repent for confusing people with our lifestyles when we're supposed to be living epistles seen and read of all men. Lord, we repent for arguing over Bible translations when our lifestyle has been one of the most confusing translations on the planet as a living Bible. We now say, Lord, bring us back into alignment. Bring us into triple alignment, spirit, soul, and body, that we're a triple braided cord that cannot be quickly broken, that we're a house that's no longer divided against itself, but a house that stands in alignment with you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I command right now under the sound of my voice, your spirit man to come to the forefront and to take its leadership position now in Jesus' name. I declare your spirit made in the image and likeness of the Lord. You're a king and a priest under your God. You're a king because it's in leadership over your soul and over your body. You're a king and a priest that intercedes in prayer. You're a king and a priest in submission to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords who died for you on a cross and said, here's your manumission papers. I bought you to set you free. I declare freedom from sickness, freedom from addictions, freedom from bondage, freedom from wrong thinking. I declare freedom and liberty to you this day. In the mighty name of Jesus, be free as we move into the new year to move down the new year in alignment with Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Divine alignment in spirit, in soul, and in body. And those in agreement said, Amen. Final illustration as we close. This is what the devil promises you. Have you ever seen a funnel with the wide side? You put things in the wide side and they come out the small side. Have you ever tried to put things in the small side? Huh. Doesn't really work, does it? Remember one day we were at the gas station. And my brother, we were young. My brother was about 15 and my mom says, we need a quart of oil. And it just started to change where, you know, they didn't have full service where those four people come out and do your windshield and everything. Some of you don't remember that. I remember that. Okay. Yeah, we had reel-to-reel -reel tapes, eight tracks back then, photograph records, rotary phones, party lines. Okay, if that's foreign to you, Google that. it. YouTube it. Anyway, so my brother goes to put a quart of oil in. And my mother says, that's not where you put it. And she says, well, yeah, it is. She says, no, 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 no. I've seen them. And she goes around and she pulls a little stick out where you check it. She says, it goes in that little hole there. <laughs> and she didn't know because she'd never put any in. Oh, All she'd seen was them check the oil. She'd never seen where they put the oil in. And some of us have never experienced the true liberty in Christ because we've entered the wrong side of the funnel. And here's the right. illustration. The gate is wide that leads to destruction but the gate that leads to everlasting life 
strive to enter in at the narrow gate. See, the wide road is promising and it's fool's goal. And the enemy says, come in the wide road. All your friends are on it. But here's what happens. The deeper you get in, the smaller the funnel gets. And the more confined and the more bondage you have and you can't figure out why. But Jesus says, come in the narrow way. And the farther you get into the kingdom, the wider it becomes. And the expanse of his knowledge is so rich. So today, we choose to align with the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And we strive to enter into the narrow gate. We contend as with a wrestler and we put our flesh in the lock position and we pin it today. And our spirit arises. Thank you. In Jesus' name. I declare the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit to come upon every person right now because greater is he that's within you than he that's within the world. Be blessed as we go today in the mighty name of Jesus. If you want special prayer, please feel free to come up. If you want to give, please feel free to give. And if you haven't been right and you're not in a church, you can get right in your tithing here. If you're connected to a church, get right with your local church in your tithing because that's the primary place where you get fed. If you want to give an offering above and beyond the tenth, you can do that here. But if you're connected to a church, that's where your tithe goes. And if you're not, you can give it here. Amen? Is that, is that fair? Does that make sense? Is that biblical? Sure. Amen. And guess what will happen? God will multiply your first fruits. He'll multiply your firstlings. And your crops will not fail. Your leaf will not wither. And it will not fade because you'll be a tree planted by the waters. In every season, you'll prosper. In Jesus' name. Amen. If anyone wants special prayer, come up and got a brother who comes from the healing rooms. He'll come up and pray with us as well. And you can get prayer. Because prayer changes things. Amen? Love you all.